What are you doing? Nine. That's Pablo asleep now. I'm gonna go get a shower. I'm gonna get my breakfast while he's sleeping. I'm gonna sort out the kitchen and do a bit of tidying and stuff like that. So for today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm keeping a current log of what he gets up to on the day, when he's asleep, when he's awake, how long he's awake for. Because pugs are renowned for being very lazy, but it feels like hard work looking after him. He's When he's awake, he's mad. He's absolutely mental. He's running about, biting, and oh, it's hard work. So I'm going to just see, actually, statistically, what it is. So I'll keep a little log and I'll show you all and whatnot. And what he gets up to today, so we'll get going. This drive is called diversification. You see, about guests insist on bringing prostitutes into our B and B. What? Surely we're not going to be comfortable. Are you sure? I'm sure. The answer is no. Ah, ah, ah. So it's two o'clock now, he woke up at one, um, had a little play about in the house and that and then I thought oh, I'd better take him out. And he's decided to get in one of them moods where all he wants to do is bite my feet in the garden. Um, so this is when he becomes a bit unbearable just for the fact that like, you can't really tell him off, he's too small to tell off, like there's, you can't hit him or anything like that. So like, just saying at that to no, doesn't do anything, he just thinks it's a game, keeps running back, you can push him off. He just wants to unbite your fingers. It's hard work. Um, but he's normally like this for quite a while, so I did lock him in his pen, but I've opened the door to outside and he's now just pottering about in the garden, so we'll go see him. So that's him absolutely potatoed out. Um, as you can see when he gets in the garden, he has a mad half hour. He's been in the house and he's been doing that in the house as well, even after taking him outside. I mean, the garden's not that small, but in terms of him running around like that, he, it's not enough space, because I get dizzy running around after him and him running after me, and it's not ideal. So, I mean, <laughs> we like this is why we need the second injection, so we can take him to a proper park and give him a proper run out so he can properly stretch his legs and try and chase us down um, but yeah he's just a little ball of energy um, so that's him been awake for like three hours now he's obviously KO'd now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in his little pen I'm going to head out for a little for about an hour and then I'm going to come back and give him his dinner I'm just going to see my grandparents so we'll do that so I've decided to go around the back of the house because I want to see what he gets up to before I come back in because if I open the front door he'll know I'm back so we'll see I don't know whether you can see him, he's just, he, oh my god my fingers reflected, he's flat asleep on the floor, which is good, I'm going to wake him up. Would you like it? Good 
What are you doing? What are you doing? You having fun? We're actually just had a, well, we're in the middle of a power cut and we've currently got no power. So luckily it is still kind of light outside and this camera is decent in the light. So it makes it look a lot lighter than it actually is. But we haven't got any power. So <laughs> this could be fun because I don't trust him with candles yet. So it'll be interesting to see how this pans out. Um, I do have my spare battery already charged for my camera. So, I'm going to have to ride it out, but it's eerie, isn't it? You don't care. You have, you have no difference. Yeah, everything's out. No power. Hmm. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get back on. We'll see. Can't end any videos, that's for sure. That's Pablo heading off to bed now. So, to, um, to answer the question on how lazy is a pug i want to say the answer is not very he's definitely not lazy well he's lazy when he sleeps but isn't everything lazy when it sleeps but in terms of how long he sleeps that's the difference so when we first got him i mean it flew around like you'd look on the internet and stuff and say oh they sleep on average for 18 hours a day 16 hours a day which is sort of in the ballpark but today i wrote them all down on when he would woke up, when he went to sleep. So by this, I'll maybe put some numbers here if you're really that interested, but he slept for 14 hours and was awake for 10 hours, basically, roughly. So, I mean, that's that's all right. I mean, he's, he's still a puppy, so when he gets a bit older, he'll obviously probably be awake a bit longer. Maybe, maybe he'll awake a bit... No, I don't know. We'll see. Being awake 10 hours isn't the issue. It's how lively he is during them 10 hours. As you can see from probably the clips I've shown you, he's like that for the whole time he's awake. So he's just off now and it's about half 10-ish. So this is like kind of him going to sleep for the night. For the past two and a half hours, he's been racing about. He's not been just pottering about and doing stuff. He's full on been trying to bite me. So I've been like wrestling him the whole time, he's, he's he's hard work, I'll admit. I thought it was going to be quite easy, and it's not. Chelsea's obviously away, so I'm doing it all by myself, and I'm going to be doing it tomorrow by myself, and I did it yesterday. It's more graft than work. It's, he is he's very lively when he wants to be, I'll give him credit for that. But that's going to be it for today's video, so if you liked it, give us a like, and um, subscribe, drop us a comment down below, let us know what you think. Um, any questions or anything just just ask I'll try and answer them so peace out